Well, a bone marrow transplant is a type of treatment that replaces a damaged bone marrow or treats cancer of the bone marrow by using healthy bone marrow stem cells or seed cells from a healthy person and puts them into a patient who is either suffering from a damaged bone marrow or cancer of the bone marrow and thereby replaces the damaged marrow with healthy marrow and fights off and eliminates or gets rid of the cancer that the patient's suffering from. Uh, patients have transplants to treat cancer. Uh, patients have transplants to treat damaged marrow. In the case of Ms. Roberts, she has a damaged marrow and her marrow is being replaced with healthy marrow from her sister. Well, Ms. Roberts was unlucky in that some years ago she developed breast cancer and the doctors treating her at the time um, decided that to cure her of breast cancer it was necessary for her to take treatment with medicines called chemotherapy. Chemotherapy drugs are very good at killing cancer cells. They have an unfortunate and unwanted side effect in that they also damage the bone marrow. Now most women who take chemotherapy for breast cancer do not develop damaged bone marrow, but a small percentage, maybe one or two percent, do develop damage to their bone marrow that's permanent. And Ms. Roberts, unfortunately, is one of those few whose bone marrow was damaged by her chemotherapy. Uh, it took some years for that damage to become apparent. Uh, and what probably was noticed was that Ms. Roberts no longer produced normal amounts of blood, uh, of infection-fighting white blood cells, or of platelets, which help us stop bleeding when we cut ourselves. All of those are the products of the bone marrow. And once that was noticed, with additional testing, uh, they learned that she had developed damaged bone marrow and concluded that it had probably come from her previous cancer treatment. Well, all patients who have damaged marrow or cancer that's derived from the marrow, and some examples are leukemia, lymphoma, or multiple myeloma, those are all cancers of cells that originally come from the bone marrow. Anyone with that type of cancer could potentially benefit from a bone marrow transplant. Um, some of those cancers are emergencies. Acute leukemia, for example, is a very fast-growing cancer. It's sort of like the house is on fire, and you have to urgently, quickly treat that patient and use the transplant to hopefully uh, put out the fire once and for all and hopefully cure them of the cancer. Well, bone marrow transplants are uh, a very interesting treatment developed uh, first in the 1960s and uh, Dr. Thomas, who's a Texas native actually, developed that field uh, in Seattle and was given the Nobel Prize for it in 1990. Um, he and many other committed doctors developed uh, really this field. And we've learned along the way that the bone marrow uh, like all of our organs, is continuously renewing itself. And it does that by um, having um, a parental cell or a stem cell multiply and divide itself and grow new blood cells constantly. In the one hour that you might be sitting in front of the television, your bone marrow produces over 4 billion new blood cells per hour every day of your life. And that constant renewal process is necessary to stay healthy. Um, uh, patients and family often wonder, how is it possible to even do a transplant? And what's 
what's uh, happening when we do a transplant. Uh, what we're really doing with a transplant is we're taking someone who has a damaged or cancerous bone marrow. Uh, and the good analogy here is to uh, imagine your garden in your backyard where you're trying to grow tomatoes. That's analogous to a healthy bone marrow. Um, if the weeds start taking over your garden and you don't pull the weeds out, pretty soon you're not going to be growing too many tomatoes. Um, the weeds are like the cancer cells or the damaged cells. and The more weeds there are, the worse your tomatoes do. Uh, what a transplant does is completely till the soil, turning over all the plants, getting rid of all the weeds, and replanting with new seed cells uh, a new garden. Uh, and we do that using the bone marrow stem cells from a healthy person, uh, dripping them into the bloodstream of a patient who has uh, a need for a transplant. And the stem cells are very smart. They plant themselves back in the garden. They're like homing pigeons. Uh, they find their way from the bloodstream back down into the bone marrow. And once they have replanted themselves back in the garden, they begin to multiply, making healthy plants. And pretty soon, within a couple of weeks, you have a brand new garden and a lot of tomatoes.